Good afternoon and welcome to the official DNOC 14 opening. I hope you all enjoyed lunch very much. Uh, you had a good travel here to Hamburg um, or you're sitting comfortable in your places at home attending remotely in Venulis. Uh, it's very nice to see you all back in person. I'm very happy to stand here and actually look into faces and not into a dark camera without anything behind that I've seen for the last three years. Uh, so good to have you. I want to be quick and give it back to the speakers as much as and as soon as possible. So welcome to Hamburg. Venulis, of course, continues to be our place to be for the whole conference. Um, everything is live streamed there. If you're on site here, please check Venulis as well. It's available to everyone. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's attached to your Pretix ticket invitation that you've gotten. Um, we use, use it for QA, we use it for chat. You can talk to all the other attendees there as well. Uh, obviously, if you're on site, you can ask the questions at the microphone directly as well. If you're on site and you're going into Venulis, please make sure your notebook is muted. Um, and interact with people in the chat there. Um, for everyone, pl please post the questions in the Q&A tool. Don't use the chat. That makes life significantly easier um, for everyone else. And for our heralds, the heralds will bring them here into the main venue. A couple of house housekeeping items. We have a tight agenda, so please be on time. Uh, the DINO community is an open and inclusive community, so we really ask you to treat each other with tolerance and uh, respect. Uh, free speech and an open exchange of ideas are encouraged. If you nevertheless feel in some way harassed or treated wrongly in any way, please reach out to Vorstand at DNOC.de or any of the board members by their first name individually. Please use the social emojis in the live stream that has played well for the last years. If you have questions, if you're here on site, we have a service desk downstairs at the registration that can help you. If you're remote, we have a help desk channel in venue list. Um, talk to the people there, they will help you as well. We want to encourage everyone to show how you're attending, either remote or on site, DNOC14. So use our hashtag DNOC14 for everything um, interesting how you're attending, show us what you enjoy most about DNERC. Highly encourage that. A couple of facts. Um, we're back with 350 on-site attendants. That's sold out. That's the first time ever DNERC has been completely sold out before the event even started. Um, out of that, we're at about 12 students and we have registered about 300 attendees remote. Uh, we believe that number is gonna grow and let's see by the end of the two days where we're gonna end up. To give you a bit of information on how our pricing comes together because people have asked questions on the ticket pricing, uh, I wanna make sure everyone understands that. So if you look at the price cost that we have, depending on whether you're a student or you're a corporate attendee, you've paid between 39 to 250 euros um, and we understand that's a good amount of money to pay for a NOC conference. We fully acknowledge that. At the same time, the cost that we have for running this event is at this moment 440 euros per person. Mm. So you, if you're at halfway averaging out at the 129 to 150 euros, what the majority of people have paid, you get more than <coughs> double of it in value back. So we believe the pricing is fair and okay. If we look at COVID testing, we've done more than 500 cases until today, and we're very happy that we decided to go with the test model that we're running, where we actually have our own test center on site, which has more conclusive and more detailed testing than the normal uh, testing centers would have. Um, we're still discussing whether we can disclose how many positive tests we've had, but I can be very clear, it paid out, and we had more than zero positive tests. Um, so I think all of us are very happy to see that uh, we make sure that inside the venue there is a clear concept of people who get access have been tested and have been negative. Uh, as a reminder for everyone who hasn't seen that yet or is here for the first day, we require mandatory daily testing 
which means you will have to test again tomorrow morning as well. Just to give you a background insight into what they're actually doing behind the scenes, and we're going to do a bit more of this at the end uh, in the closing talk, but it's pretty insane, the setup that they brought with them. It's like we have a whole laboratory downstairs in another office where it's like 50, 40, 50 machines and people running tests on a continuous basis. Um, let's see whether we can get a short video or something out of that for the closing. The big question of attendee t-shirts came up. <laughs> we don't have any yet. They're stuck in traffic. But we're working on that. Uh, I think every one of us has been through supply chain issues over the last couple of years. Apparently, they've arrived for t-shirts as well. Um, there is hope, a little bit of hope, that we'll have them tomorrow. If so, we'll hand them out tomorrow. If not, we'll ship them. If you're not here tomorrow, that's not a problem. We will ship them as well. We're sorry for that, but it is what it is. Um, not within our, in our hands of control, unfortunately. The, social, uh, the official social tonight will start at 7, and we've reserved exclusively the um, Astra Brewery, which is a very famous local um, Hamburg brewery out of St. Pauli. Uh, to make sure that our COVID testing setup works there as well, we've booked the whole venue, so we're the only ones in there. Um, you will have to bring your wrists and we'll make sure that the same setup that we have throughout the venue here applies there as well. So bring your badge to get entrance, bring your arm wristlet, the yellow ones from today. Make sure you don't put them off before the social. You won't get in without them. If you don't have them, there's no chance of entering. We're committed to running this as a hybrid conference. And yes, I fully acknowledge that went bad this morning. That was not our intention, and we wouldn't do it like this again, but it is what it is. In Venueless, we have a complete setup where everything is streamed. You have Q&A rooms, you have rooms with the sponsors, you have a sponsor venue, um, and we will have continuous Q&A included into the speaker talks here as well. So we've upgraded from this morning, we've learned out of the mistakes, it will be better now. I hope. And with that, the, the mission out of going to a in-person conference, at least for me, really, is meet new attendees. Uh, and to be fair, and a disclaimer, I've stolen 90% of the concept of that. Um, whoever figures out who I've stolen it from, please come to me. Um, but what we've seen is networking is hard. Getting outside of your comfort zone is hard. And we've all totally forgotten how to do that over the last two or three years. It's like no one of us had to get out. We were stuck behind screens and people were just like these tiny pixels that you could click away if you don't want to talk to them. But it's worth it. We strongly encourage that. We believe that the main value of coming to DNOC, besides fantastic talks and all of that, really is meet, meet new people. So my challenge for you, for all of you, is Set yourself a goal. Figure out how many people you want to meet new on a day. I set myself a goal of 50 new people per day. I failed yesterday. So I need to catch up. And I'm only at five today, which isn't really good as well. But set yourself a goal. Try to do it. Figure it out. Meet new people. And I think we had a fantastic intro into that last night for those who attended the blind peerings. It's like the concept of meeting in 17 tables with more than 100 attendees, randomly new people, and maybe a couple of people that you knew already, but that was getting outside of your comfort zone. And we fully acknowledge that a good amount of people did not want to go there yet, were not yet interested. We're hoping we can encourage that over the next years. Um, and I especially want to thank Tio and the whole crew who really organized that. Uh, they pulled it away. It was a fantastic start. So big show of hands and applause for that. <laughs> and also, if you're attending remotely, we have the same concept. 
There is a meet a random attendee in venue list where you can dial a button and you get connected to another person and you can either chat to them via text or you can chat with them in video for a couple of minutes. So use that, network, meet your peers, we highly encourage that. For those who are members of DINOG EV, there were a couple of questions over the last minutes. Um, the general meeting is not happening on site. We'll keep that remotely. It's on Wednesday. You should have received an invitation. If not, ask at the service desk downstairs. And with that, I'll hand it over to Moritz. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Patrick. Uh, just a quick note, we haven't yet sent out the invitations, but uh, we will soon. Um, and we will also send a mail to the whole members mailing list uh, once we have sent them out. So in case you didn't get any, feel free to reach out. Um, so sponsoring. <laughs> Sponsors at DNOC are actually what makes this conference possible. Patrick already uh, quickly uh, dove into the, the numbers. But uh, 30, roughly 30% 30 of the costs of running this conference is covered uh, by your tickets. And the other 70% are covered by our sponsors. And not only that, but we use the surplus we make at this conference to run all the other events like meetups uh, you've come to enjoy in the past years. Uh, so sponsors are a very vital thing for DNOC. Um, and luckily, our sponsoring packages are in high demand. This year, we sold out of I think more than 80% of our sponsoring package within the four, first four hours, and the time between getting the diamond sponsors was less than a second. So um, <laughs> I think that's a good sign for Dinoc. With that, <laughs> with that, uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors, and especially uh, our diamond sponsor Theo, who will also give you a quick welcome. Yeah. Well Welcome, everyone. Apparently, we were very quick uh, on a Wednesday morning uh, with a few people sitting there and uh, pressing the enter button in uh, whatever email program we used. So it's an honor being here, being the diamond sponsor for this year's DNOC 14. Um, yeah, warm welcome from us on behalf of the whole Interlink team. Uh, we wish you a very nice conference. Uh, we're looking forward to, to meet you as well at the booth, also in Venueless, I think. And uh, yeah, wish you a nice conference. It's also a very nice social tonight. And uh, yeah, hope to uh, talk to all of you soon. Thanks. Thank you, too. <laughs> Already mentioning the social, uh, thank you to IPHH, and I'm sure you're going to meet them as well uh, very much tonight uh, for a great social. We're going to have a great time at the Astra Brewery. Lunch, I hope you enjoyed it, and you will tomorrow as well. Thank you to Flex Optics. Our COVID tests wouldn't be possible without our safety sponsor, LWLcom, so uh, very, very grateful for them as well. Your beautiful lanyards are sponsored uh, by Thomas Krenn, and the coffee is by Arista, so thank you, as much. Uh, thank you very much to them as well. <laughs> Our uh, platinum sponsors, D-Kicks, B-Kicks, and NLX, also make this conference possible and are very happy to meet you downstairs, as well as the gold sponsors, Alita Networks, Open Gear, Core Backbone, and Flex Optics. Another round of applause, please. And also, obviously, to all our silver sponsors who also contribute to everything we do and especially to everything we do during the whole year. So thank you, Data Center One, NTT, Vopcom, DriveNets, Babiel, Packet Fabric, Noris Network, and Xantaro. <laughs> and also, internet. We have a 100 gig uplink by Deutsche Telekom, and we have wonderful Wi-Fi by Addix, so thanks to them as well. And in case you haven't yet figured, on the back of your badge is the Wi-Fi password. So then, let me take on my other hat and welcome you as a PC chair and on behalf of the whole program committee. Program committee consists of a handful of people, Florian from Arista, Kai from Fastly, myself, Richie from Grafana, uh, Sebastian, who kindly stepped up as co-chair this year and helped me uh, organize everything, Stefan Wahl, Theo from Interlink, Tim from One Fiber, and Wolfgang from DKIX, who I think created a great program for you today. If you have any feedback on the program, do not hesitate to get in touch with any of us and uh, provide us your feedback. And also, if you want to join, feel free to get in touch with me. So, what con content are we actually looking for when running DNOC? First off, strictly no product marketing. We are very uh, serious about this, and we will reject talks that are just promotional of device X with 11 ports or whatever. Uh, we try to also diversify the technology topics. Obviously, there's always a next big hot thing, EVPN, VX, LAN, whatnot. Uh, and we try still to limit it to, to give people who are not into that topic uh, also interesting content. And we try to bring non-technical perspectives. 
and by that diversify our content. Uh, obviously, we try to keep the conference technical, but sometimes it doesn't hurt to look over the edge. And so this year, we have one diversity talk who DNOC uh, EV, as the association, sponsored the travel and accommodation for. And we have two talks about sustainability to obviously bring uh, attention to a very important topic. So please also give us focus on, uh, give us feedback on these topics. And uh, if there's another topic we haven't covered yet that's important to you that maybe is a bit over the edge of our usual comfort zone, do not hesitate to reach out to the whole PC. This year we had 41 submissions, which is really good. Um, last year it was 26, so uh, thank you all for submitting. Also to those who weren't accepted, thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, and we had seven amazing workshops yesterday. Um, so after 279 reviews and a few calls, we came up with this year's program, and I'm, hope, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy it. Um, just a bit quick hint about the workshops, and I'll keep this short. Um, why are we doing these? Obviously, as just mentioned, we discourage product marketing, but sometimes you still want to get a hands-on experience. But maybe some of you are not interested in hearing about Vendor X. So the workshops are that. They are not single track. They are opt-in. You can go there, learn about stuff the, the vendors have to show off. Uh, we still try to keep the vendors uh, in, in line, <laughs> not just give a, give a sales pitch, but rather bring actual value to you. But obviously, there you will just see something focused on one vendor. Um, so also, we do not record and stream these workshops. I know it's a, a very controversial topic, but we really would like to encourage participation and asking questions, and we believe that streaming this, uh, that streaming workshops um, or recording them even kind of blocks some people from raising their hand and asking a, in their mind, stupid question. But obviously, as we all know, there are no stupid questions, especially not in a workshop where it's important that everyone keeps along. So yeah, that's it for the program committee. If you're interested in joining, uh, feel free to talk to me or Sebastian, uh, either in person or via email. If you have any questions, as Patrick mentioned, uh, feel free to ask in the help desk channel in Venulus or at the check-in, we'll be there for you. And with that, uh, just one last note to the speakers, please be 10 minutes early. We will stick to the agenda this year, and I know I'm already over time. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, have fun. And now over to Mathieu, welcome. Oh. Uh, do you still have me? Yeah. I forgot the most important thing. Um, don't touch the piano. <laughs> I'm serious about that. <laughs> Even if you can play, don't touch the piano. It's nice, it's shiny to look at. Don't touch the piano. It's also very expensive. Yes. <laughs> With that, hand it Mathieu. over.